Let's hope that a deal can be done between China and America as well. But focusing on Canada, uh, I, I, I think it is a great idea, you know, that uh, they can find some kind of consensus. I mean, the two issues, as you pointed out, is really dairy products and cars. And uh, Canada wants to export its cars to, uh, to America, and America wants to export its uh, dairy products to, to Canada. So I, I, I think that there were grounds for some kind of consensus. It's interesting because this is definitely a North American-based deal, but also companies right here in Asia would be impacted this. We think of the Japanese automakers who do business on both sides of the border when it comes to the suppliers they have across borders as well. So shouldn't this be good news for some of those big manufacturers here in Asia as well? Well, I think so. I think it, it, it just goes to show that deals can be done. Mm. And, you know, whilst we are all very pessimistic about, you know, all these various deals around the world, particularly with uh, America and China, um, we, we keep on saying, you know, it's almost intractable. And, of mm. course, we heard Jack Ma saying this is going to last about two decades or something. Uh, but deals can be done. And ultimately, really, what it requires is for people to sit down together and sort of say, what do you want? What do we want? And if there is common ground, then, of course, you know, uh, things can be sorted out. And I wonder if we can extract anything from the way in which this deal was done or is believed to have been done. We'll find out in the next few hours, we hope. What can we learn from that when it regards the U.S. negotiating position with China? Because many look at what happened with NAFTA and say, look at President Trump kind of put Canada in a corner here, mm -hmm. agreeing with Mexico first, then going to Canada. Did he ultimately have the upper hand in this one? We won't know until we actually see the uh, details of the deal itself. I mean, we, we don't really know what, what deals have been hashed out. And, of course, we know that there is an election coming up. So, therefore, um, I, I think um, uh, the, the, the White House, the president, has to be seen to be able to deliver something to its, his electorate. Because otherwise, uh, the Republican Party will just get hammered in the next election. So, uh, part of it is politics, part of it is economics, and, you know... Um, Part of it is trade as well. So, so until we actually see the, the details of the deal, it's very, very difficult to say who won and who lost. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, do we have to have a winner and a loser when it comes to deals like this? Is it, sh should it not be a case of everybody winning? Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.